Welcome to Cooking Bits and Bites. I'm B. And I'm D. And what are we making today? Today, Barbara, we are making cinnamon sugar pecans. Delicious. Just pecans? Just pecans. But you know what you can do with them? They're a nice little uh, sweet treat. You can uh, serve them at the Bridge Club. You can put them on delicious salads, make arugula salad with maybe a little bit of a, a goat cheese. It's delicious. Well, how do we make pecans? Okay, well, you need pecans. <laughs> but actually, what we're going to do first is you're going to separate one egg into that bowl. So I have my egg, and I'm going to slice that, and then I'm going to separate the yolk from the white icky part. And is that it? Is that it? That's exactly it. And now what do I do with the yolk? Well, we can make an omelet later, but make sure you get all this stuff out of there first. I still see some stuff in there. We're using the white part. Well, that's enough white part. Now, so to the egg white, we're going to add one tablespoon of water. This is a tablespoon, this big one, the largest one that you have in this little ring. One tablespoon of tap water. Now, Barbara, what you're going to do is you're going to take that whisk, and you're just going to beat the shit out of that. Make it nice and frothy. The more froth, the better. Frothy, 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 frothy. This is awfully noisy. Is that frothy enough? Nice and frothy. Perfect, Barbara. Great. You know, why don't you just let me read this card? Because I see that you're trying to cheat here. I am. It's very hard. We're trying to be professionals. It says one egg white, one tea of water, one sixteen pecans, one cup of sugar. One cup of sugar into your bowl, just like that. And Next. One tablespoon of salt. One tablespoon. Wait, is that teaspoon or tablespoon? One teaspoon. One Tis teaspoon. One teaspoon of salt. of salt. This is very important, girls. You need so better one you teaspoon of salt. Salt's very important. Then, I believe from memory, one tablespoon of cinnamon, right girls? It just says one tea cinnamon. Is this one, your own one shorthand? One tablespoon. Yes, it's mine. It's mine. Okay, so here we go. So one tablespoon. One tablespoon. Big tea means tablespoon. Little tea means teaspoon on my cards. Okay. Alright, now we're going to mix that together with a fork. Now it says put egg white and water in a small bowl, which we've done already, and then bent until frothy, not stiff. You need better handwriting. Oh my God! Well, you know I make this every season, girls, and you know I don't have to pay much attention to what I have to write on my card because I try to go from memory. All right, so you're going to mix your cinnamon and your salt and your sugar all together. Now, remember before Barbara had gone over here and she'd whipped to a hard frenzy these whites. Okay, one tablespoon of water to one egg white. Then, Barbara, you're going to take that little bag of cookies. And you're going to dump it into this bowl. Really? One pound of pecans to your whipped egg white mixture. And then what we do is we just fold, girls. Fold so that you coat all of those almonds. Or pecans. Sorry, these are pecans. Around and around we go. Make sure that they all get coated. Because we're going to eventually dump the dry ingredients on top of these pecans. Are we ready to dump? I'm ready to dump. So here we go. In go your dry, right to the wet. Simple. And then you just mix to coat, girls. It's so, so easy. This smells wonderful. It's amazing. And I'm telling you, everyone's going to go crazy over these nuts. But keep doing it until you make sure that they're all coat. Then, oops, there we go. Throw the one is the... trying to get oh, away. Oh, there you go. She dropped it on the floor again. All right, don't eat raw eggs. You'll get sick of them. Oh, no, really? <laughs> all right, now get, a, get that pan. Now, once they're all done, you're just going to dump them onto the pan just like that. And then spread them around real good. Will I get salmonellas? You won't. The egg, uh, little chickens aren't as sick as they used to be back in the day. Um, they're all bred differently now in tiny little cages. Okay, so here we go. Now, then, these are going to go into a 300 oven. Here we are at the oven, girls. So 300 degrees for 30 minutes. It's been 30 minutes, and it's time to take the pecans out of the oven. Now, what's important, girls, as Barbara brings them over, they need to go straight from this pan onto a separate baking sheet. 
Very important because if we don't do this, girls, what you're going to have is you're going to have a hard clump of pecan because we're dealing with hot sugar. All right, and they're just going to go, and you might make a mess, but it's important just to dump them right onto this. We're dealing with candy, girls. All right, like I'm making a mess. Onto the cold baking sheet. We'll get the other ones in just a second. So what's important is then you just push them around. Just like this. Cinnamon, sugar, pecans. Now, Barbara, they're going to be atomically hot. Don't try to eat one. She never listens to me, I swear. Are you okay? Do we have to go to the hospital? All right, terrific. Really, you have to let them cool before you shove them in your mouth. All right, but they're going to be great on salads and just to eat just plain right out of a little candy tray. Can you close this out? Thanks for watching Cooking Bites and Bits. I'm me. And I'm Dee. Thanks for tuning in. Let them cool first.